Talking with some more of our competitors here on Championship Sunday, the eighth annual Surf Pro Great Lakes Border Battle, fueled by Superior Fuel and powered by KME. This is the driver that's going to go from the outside of the front row. Brandon Kopp, you uh, won a Mod Nationals race here a couple of years ago. This one, though, will be a pretty big one, yeah? Yeah, this one uh, has kind of stayed away from me. I haven't been able to quite uh, put it together. We qualified decent last year and just couldn't really go forward from there, so... Um, hopefully our luck is a little bit better in the future this, this year. Talk about last night a little bit. You won a heat race, the first heat race, and then you got a qualifying spot, or you got a, a spot at the line in the second one that probably put you on the front row. It really did put you on the front row. If, if you would not have nipped him at the line, you may have been starting a little farther back. So a really, really good night for you last night. Yeah, um, I mean, we got lucky. Um, you know, unfortunate for Andrew Mackey, he got in a wreck in the first round. Um, but yeah, it moved us up, everyone up one, one spot further in a heat, and that really kind of made the difference. And then... Um, you know, I got to fourth, and I'm thinking, okay, well, ninth to fourth is, is pretty darn good. That'll be a top six. And then I was like, I think I'm gaining on him. <laughs> and I drove it extremely hard the last three laps. And, uh, yeah, I was fortunate enough to get uh, next uh, Andrew Inman there. And <laughs> I, I heard him buzz his tires, and I started buzzing mine. And I was like, man, I hope I beat him to the line, and we were able to do it by about a foot. So it was Somebody upstairs in the tower said, I think that might gain him the front row. And it was right. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, like, okay, well, we'll be – we should be first two rows, and I was not expecting a front row, but um, it was tough to pass for everyone last yes. night, and there's a lot of good cars that, um, you know, started like second or third row in each of the heat and just couldn't move forward. So that really uh, helped us out a lot, you know, especially with the front row starting and getting the win on that. So Interesting part to me last night watching all those heat races, the track, of course, so equal in a lot of, in a lot of places. The defending race winners in a B main today. I mean, that, that really tells you how good the quality is and how equal that racetrack was and how hard to move around it really was. Well, yeah, last year's winner and then, um, you know, Dan Ebert, who's like fourth or fifth in US MTS points right now, um, and he's always strong when he comes to a soda country. Um, you know, he's like 13th, and then you got Daryl Nelson, who has won, I don't know, half of his races, half the wins in his career. He's in a B-Main, too. Um, you know, a lot of really, really good cars are, you know, struggling this week. And it's not that they're not good. It's just it's hard to pass. You have so many good cars and so many guys moving forward, and it's, it's tough to do things. Talk about this. If, if you go to victory lane tonight, this 50 lapper is a long race, and we know that, and anything can happen. But if you go to victory lane here, clearly the biggest money you ever won, but I assume prestige-wise, one of the biggest you've won as well. Winning in front of your hometown crowd, though, is equally as cool as the money, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, everyone says it when, when the big shows are on your home track, you want to defend your home turf. Um, so it would be nice to get to get one here. Um, Jody's done a pretty good job of winning the 10 grand on our, at our home track, so he's defended it pretty well. So, um, you know, it's, it's tough enough to beat him and then have everyone else come in around. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get it done. Um, man, if we do, we'll be drinking some Bud Lights, and I don't know if I'll be showing up to work on time tomorrow. But. Yeah, Dad, tell your boss right now you're not coming tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll probably be there. I just won't be in the best condition. <laughs> Two last things here. Uh, I talked to Ryan Gerke a minute ago, and I said, you're going to jump out front if you can? Are you going to let the 22 go and jump behind him and kind of, you know, you don't want to use your stuff up too early, but you don't want to fall too far behind. I'm not going to tell you what he said, but what's your plan? <laughs> uh, you know, it's tough because um, you really want to get out front most of the time and, and go, but it's also in a longer race. You know, you kind of want to you kind of want to see what the pace is and just kind of maintain your stuff. But um, historically speaking, the guy that jumps out early in this race, especially the long, the 10 grand, 50 lap races, um, the guy that jumps out in front early has kind of been the winner. So um, I think the best strategy for us is to get out and just kind of maintain. Um, it's going to be tough to get ahead of Ryan. Uh, he's he's plenty good, but. Uh, you know, I, I, I do believe getting out front and just kind of holding pace. Then I can kind of set what I want to do and uh, go from there. He said the same thing. So good luck. Good luck to both of you. I mean, really, that, that's that's kind of what I thought you both would say, right? You, if you can get out in clean air and lead early, let's get out in clean air and lead early, yeah? Right. And, uh, you know, as long as I don't spin out lap cars like I did in Proctor a couple of years ago in some bigger races. But, um, yeah, I, I, you know, and if, if we don't get out to the front right away, you know, then you just kind of pace them, you know, try to pace them as much as you can without letting other guys get around you and, um, I think everyone in the second row back kind of has the same idea. Just pace the front, pace the front, and then, uh, you know, when it gets down 20, 15 laps to go, you, you kind of really got to kick it in gear. As long as you can still see them, you got a shot. Yep. yep, for sure. Last thing everybody wants to know, how hot is that beard in the summer? You know, it's really not that bad. Um, kind of had it since I was like 14, so it really doesn't bother me anymore. But There it is. He's going to start on the outside of the front row. That's Brandon Kopp. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck.